Hey guys, how's it going? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Looking at a, another beer today that was sent to me by my buddy Ben. Thanks a lot, man. You're awesome. Today's beer is another one from Blood Brothers Brewing out in Toronto. This is a uh, variant on their Paradise Lost uh, Golden Sour Ale at 6% alcohol by volume. This is their uh, Spiced Cherry Paradise Lost. And I love that artwork. That is awesome. So a spiced cherry sour ale, they're using uh, cherries, of course. Love me some cherry sours. I absolutely love it. But uh, they're using uh, cinnamon, nutmeg, and allspice in this beer. So sounds really good. Sounds like it'll be like a, a tart um, cherry pie or something like that, you know. So let's get it cracked and see how it is. All right, we've got the Spice Cherry Paradise Lost poured, and it pours a beautiful, fluffy, frothy, uh, pinkish white kind of head. It's sitting on a uh, pink, uh, slightly orangey, kind of reddish kind of body. It almost looks like a Jolly Rancher or something like that. This really glowing kind of uh, pinkish red kind of thing. Looks really cool. Uh, let's get an aroma. Now yeah, that smells awesome. Smells exactly how I thought it would, and that pumps me up. I mean, tons of tart lemon. You're getting a really nice, like a sour grape, like a white grape, something like that. And then cherry pie in the background. Definitely getting that cinnamon. Definitely the allspice. A little bit of nutmeg. And I want to say like a ginger for some reason. Maybe just because those spices are so often associated with each other, but, but that smells absolutely mouth-watering. I cannot wait to try this out, so let's do that. Cheers. Yeah, that's awesome. Taste follows the nose. Lemon, some nice uh, white grape, like white wine kind of characters. There's a slightly tannic, um, I want to say like a funky, almost like Brett kind of quality. Really nice uh, tart puckering kind of thing on the tongue. Uh, really nice uh, tart cherry, some sweet cherry in the background. Then it goes into that pie kind of thing, this uh, bready, crusty, spicy kind of uh, pie crust kind of thing going on. The mouthfeel is spritzy, light, uh, nice amount of carbonation, but not too much. It's not like sharp at all, nothing like that, as uh, sours often can be. Um, there's a slightly bready kind of thing uh, on the sides of the tongue there, really nice. Uh, but all in all, really nice sour ale. Uh, yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be, and that pumps me up. I absolutely love cherry sours and cherry pie, anything cherry, you know, and I love sour beers in general. As a writing on Spice Cherry Paradise Loss, I think I'd give this one a solid, like, B plus verging on an A. I want to go 89 on it. It's a really, really nice, fun, sour, mind-blowing at all, but it's just really solid, really tasty, and something I could drink tons and tons of. So let me know what y'all think of uh, Spice Cherry Paradise Loss, any of the other uh, beers from the series. I do have their uh, Lemon and Ginger one, and I think they have like a Guava and maybe a Raspberry one out right now, something like that. Might have to get my hands on those because this is delicious and I'm sure those will be as well. Thanks for watching everybody, and uh, thanks to uh, Ben for sending this beer out to me and to Blood Brothers for brewing it. So please give me a like, comment, subscribe. Till the next time. Cheers.